We're going to send things over to photojournalist Jason Maxwell with the story on a local teen who is giving back to his community. You got to go back to the 70s when we came back from Vietnam. It wasn't that great. Now to see these kids do this nowadays, it's, a, it's a heartfelt. We're here for the flag boxes that Andrew built for the community to donate their uh, old flags and put into the box. On June 14th, we do the flag burning ceremony, which is about an hour long ceremony that we show how to properly dispose of American flag. When I first started trying to plan for my project, it was really important to me because I wanted to make a project that had a lasting impact on the community. When I first found out that um, the Legion across the street needed a project done, I thought it was a great idea because the Legion's composed of veterans. My grandfather was a veteran in the Vietnam War, who's an inspiration for me. So I thought it would be a great idea to be able to give back to the veterans who helped our country so much. I think it's outstanding. Great job. He did a great job working on it. He worked hard and put it together. It's very colorful. Very patriotic. What do you think it'll, it'll help? To, it, it, I think it'll help uh, the community will know a place they can bring their flags where they can be properly disposed of. I built a frame of two by fours. I took plywood as the outside exterior just so it's a little bit more stable. The thing that made it the most important to me was the metal roof to prevent like rain and all the stuff from getting on it. The actual wrap on this, it's a vinyl car wrap that I got. So just so it's like waterproof and it's gonna last like a long time. Andrew has done a lot of good things for this community just with these flag boxes. A lot of people have come and as you see the box is almost full now. I want to thank Andrew for the hard work that he did and the effort he put into this because everyone we've talked to looks and they love the new flag boxes. So thank you, Andrew.